Hello, all good people. It's Exo Man. I, as you may know, I recently bought a camper, this thing here, and uh, haven't used it yet. Haven't had a chance to do anything with it. But it is a beautiful little camper. It's a 2021. Some nice young people bought it, and you, they traveled the country with it for some months, and then uh, they sold it to me because they get busy with other stages of their life. So what I wanted to do and what I thought I would share with you is uh, put a service in, put a put an outlet in so that I could plug my camper in at my house, right? So I can at least use it here in the driveway, get familiar with it. I've never done this before. I've never owned a camper. Uh, well, I, I own a camper, but I've never trailed it. I've never used it. It's a fifth wheel. And I'm not even rigged for that. Uh, but this this is a uh, works on a regular tow package. You just hook it up to your your bumper, tow it basically, and uh, that's great. Great little 18 foot camper with a gas stove, a bit a queen size bed, a shower, and toilet. What do you need? So let's let's go over this now. Remember, I'm a do-it-yourselfer guy. I'm not a contractor. I'm not a plumber. I'm not an electrician. I'm not any of those. Uh, trades but I, I do all my stuff a lot of my stuff myself um, because I don't have six hundred dollars or a thousand dollars every time I want to do a tiny little job so you figure it out now I'm not saying that you should do this I don't advise it I think you should hire an electrician but if you want to know what I'm doing I'm gonna show you and if you're crazy like me you do whatever you want but know that you can kill yourself with this stuff okay so here we go so here's a here's a plug in it's in to my camper it doesn't need to be there but i'm just going to show you um, look i've hooked up my water i did this yesterday i actually wired this yesterday just to test some stuff on the camper make sure everything's functioning well but i didn't have the proper parts it's crazy right now with covid because uh these there are people that are price gouging there are manufacturers and people, some people in, in the supply chain. Say hi guys. Thank you for your service. So there are people in the supply chain that are price gouging with things like lumber. I just talked to a guy today. We're, we've been into this COVID thing for a long time. It's, uh, what is it, uh, May? early May 2021 and lumber still sky high and it's my understanding that the people who grow the wood have plenty of wood the people that sell the wood aren't doing the gouging it's the people in between it's in in milling somewhere in there so whatever's happening with resin and plastics same kind of thing there's a lot of people doing a lot of damage and being very greedy and uh, anyway that's a video for another time but it's been hard to find any kind of plastics like this conduit. So I had to go to an electrical supply store because my Lowe's and my Home Depot in the area didn't have it. All right, so let's see what I'm talking about. Let's see what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna redo it with this and uh, show you in case you wanna be a do-it-yourselfer, you can uh, see, see how I do it, all right? All right, here we are. I have a feeling that this this video is going to turn into a, two different how-tos. Uh, anyway, so let me let me stop again here and say, do not, do not work on an energized panel. Um, it's it's just too dangerous. That's what I should be telling you. Uh, so I got my meter, and I've got I need something to plug into, right? So this is what I bought, and it is a. Uh, a 50 amp outlet and what I'm gonna do is step it down with that adapter right there some people call that a dog bone uh, or an adapter and I'm just getting familiar with the nomenclature with the terminology but what it does is it plugs into this 50 amp service with this you see matches that right and then it steps it down to my camper or to 30 amp which is my camper different configuration 
okay? So that tells the story right there. The reason I've done this is for versatility. Say if I in, uh, enjoy the experience of camping and I ended, end up buying a different camper, trading this in, and I end up with a 50 amp, well, I can just plug it right in, right? So I'm versatile, or whatever I have this 50 amp. Okay, so I've got this. Now I've gotten it wired. This is pretty basic. You, uh, so you've got your four ports here for your wires. You got your line, you see line in, line in. Either side, the two gold screws. I got a black and a red going in there, you see that? Those are two legs, two, two lines. 110 each, right? And then my common wire in the middle. This is how this is to be wired. It shows you right there. Okay. See, it says line, line on either side. And then you see your common or your neutral, your white wire, and then your ground. Okay. And, and then down below, you see my ground is coming out of there where the green screw is, and that's wired into my box. And then I've put my ground wire in, and I'm coming out go to my panel to ground okay and this thing all this service is grounded uh but here we go here's a problem now you got these knockouts i'm not i don't do the I don't, like i said i'm not an electrician i was sitting here trying to knock out on the inside of this ring and that's the wrong spot obviously because it would be too small for this okay so uh I started hitting on the outside and, this, and it started to pierce it. All right, so be careful. When you, when, if you've never done this kind of work before, this is what you usually anticipate, you know, well, something like this. You see how that's got, it's actually cut. It's stamped so hard that the metal is, is com almost completely cut through except for these welds, right? So normally you would hit it on this side this is the second knockout. I knocked out the first knockout and then hit it on this side and rock it back and forth and then break off the welds with your pliers toggling it back and forth. Well, this style is not cut all the way through. So you have to hit your, uh, take a hammer and tap your screwdriver right there. And then right there on the other side of this risen ring. Like see if I wanted to knock this one out, I'd hit it right there. So anyway, don't do that. You don't want to do that much damage. I've bent that. Now I'm going to have to straighten it out to get my, my fitting in there. And so here's the, the conduit that I want and got at the supply house. Okay. I'm assuming that you can use all-purpose PVC cement. I know that's not really, I'm not sure that's to code, but I think that's, that's good. If it's not, I, I will redo it again with the, with the code. There's another kind of fitting that's pressure fitting it locks onto there but I think that will suffice for now as long as it's good and snug glue it on there okay does that make sense now I'm going to put it right here I got about five feet of wire and uh, let's get going on that okay now this is more to my liking I've got my box kind of temporarily mounted here need some straps for this uh, PVC cement in the joints. Um, you see what's going on up here? I did uh, one leg, both of those legs to either side of that 50 amp breaker. And I've got my common and my ground coming into that neutral bar there, which should do the trick. Now we'll just put the meter on it. Okay, test. so see I'm gonna touch one leg of this and then I'm gonna touch the neutral here. You see that? I'm making contact and I've got 125. That's just right. Do the same here. Touch the neutral and I'll touch the other leg there. You can't really see that, but uh, there we go. That's it, it's fluctuating, but that's that's what we need. Okay. Right. Now I'm plugged in over there. My battery is turned off and I have light. Let's see what we got here. And we have cold air. 
very nice. Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, you might also want to check out the video that I did where I installed a battery switch for the onboard battery with this camper. I will put a link to that video below.